Welcome to Antec's PowerPoint presentation. In this presentation, I will tell you all about the Decade II electrochemical detector. Antec is supplier of the Alexis, which is an HPLC product line with electrochemical detection. We developed a number of applications in different research areas. Antec's electrochemical detectors are compatible with many HPLC systems and our applications are easily transferred between different platforms. Our electrochemical detectors come in two models, the Decade II and the Decade II SDC. The most striking feature of the Decade II SDC is that it has no keyboard or display. It is completely computer controlled by the free software. The SDC can control one flow cell and operates in the DC mode only. The analytical performance is the same as the other model. The Decade II is a fully featured electrochemical detector. It can operate in the DC, pulse, and scan mode, and it can control up to four flow cells simultaneously. It has a number of features I will explain in this presentation. It is the most sensitive detector with extremely low limits of detection. Most of our applications are using the detector in DC mode. It is called DC because a constant potential is applied. The best performance is obtained when using in combination with an optimized HPLC system and a well equilibrated flow cell with glassy carbon electrode. In this mode, the best detection sensitivity is obtained for even the most demanding applications. This is an example of gradient HPLC with electrochemical detection of a number of phenols. Some applications are done using the Decade II in the pulse mode. For example, the analysis of carbohydrates using a flow cell with gold electrode. Without the use of pulse mode, the oxidation products of carbohydrates easily stick to the electrode that make it inactive. In the pulse mode, the electrode is regenerated continuously by a cleaning cycle. This enables us to analyze carbohydrates with an excellent reproducibility and sensitivity. In the pulse mode, the potential is applied in a three-step square wave form. The first potential, E1, is for measurement. It is to set a value where the substance of interest oxidizes. At the end of the first step, the response is measured and processed for data acquisition. It is followed by a positive and negative potential to regenerate the electrode surface. This cycle repeats once or twice per second. The scan mode is used for method optimization to determine the optimum detection potential. The substance of interest is dissolved in HPLC solvent and analyzed in flow injection mode. The potential is ramped up and down in a triangular waveform between potential E1 and E2. The signal is measured and plotted against the electrode potential in a so-called voltammogram. A scan of the substance of interest is compared to the scan of blank solvent. The oxidation potential for detection can be recognized as a deflection in the curve. In case a substance has more than one oxidation potential, the smallest potential is used. At smaller potential, less interfering peaks are seen in HPLC. Our electrochemical detectors have a powerful forced air oven with two fans that are always on, even when the oven is not heating. This way the best temperature stability is obtained. The forced air circulation with the double wall working compartment results in really stable measurement conditions. It assures a stable baseline for detection and reproducible retention times for HPLC. The Decade II can control multiple flow cells. This is a feature that is used in few specific applications. For example, the USP method for azithromycin uses two flow cells. On the rear panel, a number of connectors are located. There are connectors for external control, for example, to trigger the auto zero. The output connector is for analog data acquisition and AD converter. 
A serial port is available for computer control, for example when using our Clarity Data Acquisition software. To enable the use of the tremendous dynamic range of the electrochemical detector, a number of ranges are available from 200 microampere down to 10 picoampere. The high sensitivity ranges are for the DC mode only and have a low noise specification for best possible detection sensitivity. We have developed an advanced digital filter which has been optimized for electrochemical detection. It is a low-pass filter which strongly suppresses the high-frequency noise while the peaks pass. A unique feature is that our filter has a very steep slope between the pass and the stop frequencies. For a good understanding of the filter, let's have a look at signal and noise frequencies. The red trace in this picture is a close-up of a baseline in HPLC. The noise on the baseline is nothing more than a collection of random frequencies similar to the blue traces. Using our advanced digital filter, it is possible to suppress all these frequencies. On the resulting flat baseline, it is much easier to recognize and analyze a chromatographic peak. Suppressing the high frequency noise improves the detection limit. However, a chromatographic peak is a signal with a frequency. These signals should not be suppressed. We consider the width of a chromatographic peak as about half the period of a sign. Peaks with a short retention time usually have a smaller peak width compared to the late eluding peaks in isocratic chromatography. Early peaks have a higher frequency compared to late eluding peaks. That is why we have a number of different selectable cutoff frequency added to our filter. It enables us to optimize for the best cutoff frequency where noise is blocked and peaks pass. That setting is just a bit higher than the peak frequency. The smaller the cutoff setting, the stronger the filter will work. The quality of a filter is best illustrated with its capability to suppress the noise and not the peaks. If the peaks of interest are in the first couple of minutes of the chromatogram, they have a small peak width. This requires a mild filter setting of about 0.2 Hz to avoid attenuation of the single. The improvement of the signal to noise ratio is visible in the blue trace. If the peak of interest is at 15 minutes, a more powerful filter setting is applied. The peak is almost untouched while the noise almost completely disappears. The parameters of the Decade 2, including the filter setting, are programmable in time. Using the events in the first part of the chromatogram can be filtered mildly, while in the second part, the more powerful setting can be applied. When the Decade 2 electrochemical detector is part of an Antec Alexis HPLC, they are delivered with Clarity. Clarity is a full-featured software for instrument control and data acquisition. When the Decade 2 is used with the HPLC system of another vendor, an AD converter is needed for data acquisition. Instrument control is done manually by keyboard and display. Antec develops the dialog software to control the detector parameters by a PC. The full functionality of this software is unlocked by a licensed dongle. But the free version of this software is on the internet and can already be used for instrument control. It runs in the background next to the acquisition software of the HPLC system. Qualification procedures are available with detailed manuals. Procedures are independent of the HPLC system that is used. Kits for the HPLC test and detector calibration are available. Thank you for your attention. For more information on our products and applications, please visit our website at www.myantech.com.